Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Nerdy Quail. We are continuing our playthrough of Space Engineers and just wanted to show you a little bit of what I got done. Last episode I apologize for the lack of constant audio, but I think I've got that fixed and I'm going to show you what has been done. So I did a little work of remodeling a few things on the tower. So I got a basic stair system going. For the tower right here brings you up and bam. We're going to have probably some computers and stuff set up here, probably one here. I would like one there. I might reorganize the stairs, but for now it works. We're going to at least have one here and at least have windows all the way around. And we're also going to need to work on this bad boy a little bit. Uh, last playthrough, last episode, it worked, but it barely worked. Like, very, very barely worked. Um, in the meantime, I have... We did put the bigger battery in. Hopefully that will help with the two extra small batteries as well. All right, what am I holding? Uh, steel plate. All right. So we're going to start off by just finishing this off. Yep. All right. Uh, we're going to do the door here. We got the normal door, we got sliding doors. Uh, we will try this one. not snapping. Let's do this one. If it will. Bam. There we go. And we're gonna uh, rotate it. Get that back in there. I can find the right button. There we go. Alright, and for this, we're going to need a bunch of stuff. We'll drop off as much as we can. And get materials dropped off. Alright. Next, we're going to go to the cargo container, we're going to grab motors, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. construction components maybe, and we're going to need probably some computers, I'll grab some displays, I think I might need those, and we're going to need steel plate. But for that we're going to need iron. Can't really do much else, so we're gonna start this door. Okay, we're gonna need some small steel tubes and 15 bolt proof glass. That should be enough. Two, yeah, that's enough, and this door should be good to go. Alright, let's check it out. Nice. Okay. 
That's looking good. Just walk up. And bam. It's going to need lighting. But in the meantime, we do have the uh, high vis ness on the stairs. So at least we're semi OSHA compliant. Close that up. Okay, Dolke. So what we'll need. We're going to drop off everything here. We're going to grab some iron. Hit the right button. Turn on the lights. Yeah, should be good to get started. Get this uh, finery going. Let's drop off the stone first, and then the uh, iron. Okay, that's going on. Meantime, got nothing in there. But I still want the components to be in the other thing. And we're gonna start by. Disassembling this thruster. Inventory full. Anything we don't need for the control tower, we're going to drop off. We're about halfway full with this cargo container, too. This is something to keep note of. Thankfully, we have a large one set up. Alright, looking around, looking around. Gonna take this off. Alright, and let's grab a few steel play. Uh, let's see if we can finish this off. That's good, that's good, that's good. That's good, good, good. Alright, we're gonna finish this off. All right, next we're gonna look at putting in some lights in here. And then once we get at least that started, we're gonna look and do another mining run. So, we need, so let's close this all up. All right. I know we're getting a little light in there, but not a lot. So I think we're going to put a light on the bottom of each little thing here. We don't need spotlights, searchlights. We just need a good little... Some corner light, maybe? Corner lights... Yeah, let's do uh, some corner lights. Let's try these. Yeah, yeah, these are good. Okay, so let's see here. We're going to put one... We'll put one down up here. What do we need? We need construction components. Alright, we'll get those. And get these welded up. Put one there. Let's 
see, we'll put bam, bam. We'll see how this works. Huh, where am I? Weird. All right, that's weird. Uh, well, there. One, please. Thank you very much. better so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to these corner lights intensity of the light two meter radius we're gonna crank the that up to 10 most guys are trying to light up a room right Let's see how this is now. Oh, much better. Okay. Um, I might reduce the radius a little bit. But, <clears throat> let's see, these are one meter, two meter-ish, right? Something like that. So maybe not the full ten. Oh, maybe. I'm not sure. But at least it's working. We'll stick a couple up here, one there, stick one up there, and that might be enough. I might stick. I'm not going to have blocks in here. We're going to actually use the lights this place for something. But yeah, so those are good. <clears throat> With the two meter radius. It's good enough for now. These are the ones that are mainly lighting up the room. And then. Ta-da. All right, so next would be, oh, there's a couple of new ones here. I like that. I think we're gonna need a, we're gonna need a lot of bulletproof glass for sure. All right, so this is basically done. I will probably increase the radius on those. Maybe not 10, we'll try five. We're gonna try fives on all of them. Okay. A lot more reduced, but I think that's a lot better. This area is a little dark, but we're not using it at all right now. But this is lit up all the way up to here, and then bam. Good. All right. So, next is dropping these off. I know I have beacon, but just in case. Hmm. 
we're going to save. Delete that one actually. New from current position. There we go. There we go. That way we'll act, always have a little GPS marker saved to where our base is. All right. So we have a version two of the mining ship. Uh, version two has less armor plating in general. A uh, bunch of it was removed. Some stuff was redone to make it look a little, a little better. So it looks a little less like a block. The new large battery on the bottom. All right, so the ship is on. And we're gonna see how much capacity we have. Okay, we're going to set it to recharge, recharge, go ahead and recharge. All right, so that's fully charged up, fully charged up. All righty. So, other things also is we. I've been looking up more how the ore detector works, so hopefully that's a little better. Uh, okay, well. We're gonna try this. Alright. This is the coil mining ship. One. Requesting clearance to undock. And we're not getting any power. Why is that? Oh, hold on. We probably need to batteries. There we go. Right. There we go. All good. All righty. Time for us to choose a thing to go to. We're going to try this one. Yep. Yeah. Alright, we're going to turn off our dampeners. And we're going to throttle up. Much better. We have uh, three hours of full burn. So this new battery much nicer. I believe we're getting much better acceleration. Much better. We're already at 100 meters per second. Just, just the, the two thrusters on the back. Alrighty. Everything looks good. Nine days of just floating. That's perfect. We'll start slowing down. I might have. I think we're good. We'll head back down to 50.
going to turn on our ore detector. And we're going to slow down. All right, we're going to get close. And I think I may have to redo the ore detectors, the location, but I'm not too sure if it's directional or not. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually, where did I have it? I think that's it right there. I'm pretty sure this is something right here. Yep, we got ice. All right. Uh, we don't need ice. I think this is more ice right here. Yeah. All right. It is useful to know. So we're going to do... New from position. Whoop. Ice one. Alright, we're gonna just kinda cruise around a little bit. Do you think uh, spotlights on this might be useful? Something to think about. Okay, I'm not getting anything else on here. Next, uh, we're gonna go to this. Okay, so we're getting pretty close. Uh, give it three, two, one. Okay, ore detector is on, and we're going to hopefully get something good here. Now, I've always been a little disappointed with the ore detectors on this, because a lot of the times it's always been that I see it first before it pops off. Then after this, we're going to at least fill up on either stone or get the silver, which is one asteroid over. Because I want to put a spotlight on this, actually. Also toying with the idea of uh, additional thrusters on the front and back. Alright, we're going to stop and let the ore detector work.
All right, I'll see here. Let's wait a moment, see if this works. And I'm not getting anything. Nope, not getting anything. I might need to bore into this, get further in. In the meantime, uh, I only have 39% of oxygen. We're going to head to the uh, silver deposit here. And that is why I like to have the GPS tags, because the silver did not even pop up until pretty close. Alright. Pretty much. Alright. Time to head back. next good test which is let's see how well this thing accelerates under load and this is why I'm thinking of getting one more additional thruster on the front and the back energy wise we're good this thing is perfect now for little short hops Okay, this thing is taking like a kilometer to get up to even 50. We're going to top off that 75. Because it's going to take us some time to slow down. We're going to probably start slowing down at 3 kilometers out. I think I did it too late. Eh, or at least pretty close. So yes, yeah, a tad too late. But, uh, 
No, I think I was actually pretty spot on with that. Nice. Okay, we're gonna do a redirect. Right side up. I do want to be able to do this from all in the cockpit at some point. There we go. Parking lot engaged. We're going to need to get some oxygen, but it's not a hurry. Well, there we go. That was much more successful than last time where I had to build an emergency battery. Sounds like everything is, uh, Getting transferred in, the refinery sounds like it's going, the assembler sounds like it's going. Amazing. Our cargo container... Well, we'll work on this at some point. Uh, we just brought in a a lot of material not the best but a good a good chunk all right we're good on ice we're good on uranium production so our big hang-up still is we definitely don't have enough iron uh, okay I think one thing though I need to do which I think I don't have any on me nope I'm gonna pop one of these bad boys on all right spotlight We're gonna try these, haven't seen these used before. And then... Rusters... Two construction components and one bro or uh, glass. Here we go. And we're gonna make this red. Got it opposite. Nice. 
And then what we'll do is we're gonna open up our tools here. Block tool, thruster, all blocks. There we go. Toggle on off. We got some little headlights on that. I like these little ones. So nice. The old one was a big thing you had to mount somewhere. I what it's going to mount there. But having like little headlights is nice. Alright, looks like everything's good. We're gonna definitely need to get more iron, so what we're gonna do for now. We're just gonna go in here really quick. Alright, that should get us going a little bit. Alrighty. Now. What to do, what to do. So. Now that we got this built. Let me see. That's coming from down there. Okay. At some point I would want to get some solar panels set up. But I think what we're going to work on is we're going to work on some sort of just layout I think I would like to find more um, iron out there and haven't been able to find any now I like this idea of using this as an industrial sector but what I'm thinking of I'm gonna make a platform walk to here something I think that'd be neat could also iron up uh, armor all this up and have it be part of the platform maybe or we'll do the platform here we'll walk out yeah okay so we'll do, we're gonna get some steel plate. We're gonna have to get some uh, more iron then. Just go through so much iron in this. All right, so we're gonna go raid our mine really quick. KM of that. Alright. Mostly we're not building it yet. We just want to see how it looks. I use gray. So it leads up to here. Bam, 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 bam. Make it a little. Uh. Get a little, not just a block shape. <coughs> we'll do that. For now, at least. Uh, 
Um, here I'm not sure. We might just gonna do this, and I might armor it up. But at least for now, we got our platform going. We're gonna get some materials. So let's start with. Don't want to do anything too close, so let's start with you. Alright, that exposed all that. Let's get this ramp. And we'll start dropping off everything else, and we'll see what we can do with doing some welding. Definitely, definitely need a lot more steel plate, which means we're definitely going to need to find some spot that can give us more iron. So we can go out here. Um, yeah, not sure how it's going to end up. Maybe some little railings too. That might be good. Energy low. Alright, we'll fill. Alright. Got a little bit of a platform going. Uh, railing. Let's try this. Small tube and construction components. Mm, okay, so they're a double sided railing. There we go. A little bit of safety right there. And then a, right now, just a short EVA. Drop these off. Alrighty. So, what I'm going to do now is we're going to take this down. I'll take 
that too. Okay. Up here. Hmm. Cockpit blocks. Control C. Rover cockpit. Saddle cockpit. Buggy passenger vents. We want like a control C. And we're going to stick this. There's not a really good center spot. We'll stick you here. That almost gets us to functional. What do we actually need for it? We need two displays, ten construction components, and ten interior plate. Two of those. Compared to, let's see, the control C. I think it works good for here. Got everything there, and we could just move the. Uh, Control C up here, actually. And to work on that, we're going to get rid of these. Materials, pick that up. So that now puts our control center up there. Which is cool. So now we go in here, we go up. And bam. So, might not be the final position, but for now, it overlooks. Looks pretty cool. Um, so, definitely the idea is that I want to have like a flight controller. But I might bring their station up here. Right? So that way, they can see the ships coming in, docking, any ships coming in and out of there, and all that. But for now, we have this guy, and he will do everything for that currently. In the meantime, we'll...
Get some steel plate that way. We'll take the mag. All right, we'll continue our work on making this flat. Uh, main thing is to take out these two, three thrusters. Uh, okay. We'll just start with this one. Uh, then we're gonna probably need to actually start using a lot of this. We have a lot of thruster components. Okay, now got some of that working on, some of that being worked on. So the secondary goal is to make things airtight. So we very, very definitely have an industrial area here, right? <clears throat> We're gonna put a door here. And then you'll EVA out, walk out there. And I think it need this needs to be an airlock. Or maybe not, maybe the airlock, we'll have an airlock system. I don't know, yeah. But very definitely, we wanted that you open it up, comes out here, you exit the ship, come out here. All of this stuff I'd like to move. Because they're all just kind of clumped here. Alright. So, first things first. Let's get this. And let's start laying down some groundwork. Is the large container not connected? That is a problem. Should be, because I put a, con a conveyor right there. It should lead right up to it. Uh, okay, so let's... Do... That's my tower. We'll do that. Edge of the wall. Now, let's see. Uh, might as well, we'll just do one there, do one there. It will be a hallway. And then, of course, we want... Like a wall... We're gonna separate it out here. We'll have a door there. And then... Build this all up, and we're going to want this all enclosed. Um, thought I could make this a control tower. Just a thought. Alright, then you go out here, and then we would have airlock system. 
call that put the door here. So let's say here's the hanger. Right, we're gonna make a hanger here, and that's gonna get extended way out and all that. So we'll have the hanger there. So let's say you come in, you land, you do all your good stuff. Come here, open up, uh, airlock system. Uh, airlock. We're gonna build this out here. Then build to there. We might have this not be airtight, but we'll use it for something. All right. There we go. I'll put a door, door there. I don't like the door there. Put the door there. Maybe. Not sure yet. We'll do exterior. Uh. Let's maximize our space. We'll use these. All right. Um, I actually don't want to use this for the room but big butt coming up i do want to use this to let's say store some i don't know maybe backup power we'll probably stick a battery in there or something or maybe this is where the pumps and stuff are and all that for the air all right We're going to just move along, move along. Now we can extend things out too, so I kind of want to. No clue what we're going to use this for, but it's getting extended out. And I just had a thought while building this. So there are remote cameras and stuff like that that we can use. And so we can use this flight, the flight tower here. There we go. And we can have cameras set up for docking bay and so this will be the docking bay, right? And this will be the industrial area. Or technically temporary docking. Um, I am definitely going to want to cover this whole thing up. I don't know if I want to make this necessarily 
Let's just see. We'll do that. A make this a um <clears throat> what's it called? A landing bay where it requires uh landing gear. But like a free floating docking area. Let's just see what we were working with. I think this kind of works out a little bit. Come through here. I definitely want to move this nuclear reactor and put the nuclear reactor on the underneath the platform. <coughs> we will come out here, and then you'd have all this is here. So if we need access to repairs, technically, we can go through here. Bam! Come out here. You're out the ship probably make catwalks for that and then don't think we need these right there but we have let's say an access way around here right one right yep we'll just fix that too and then Bam, and this is just going to require tons of steel plate to make. We're going to just take these out for now. All right, let's 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 see what we're working with. As I said, the goal is to make this airtight. And we'll start by, we'll take this out. <laughs> yeah, we just need to just get a ton of iron, I guess. Just to start off, let's get some right now. But this is really tiny compared to what we actually need. Alright, good thing though is I don't think we're gonna need silver anytime soon. Well, maybe. Probably could use a little bit. Now, we are going to see why this is not working. Because that's bothering me. Uh, we'll stick the rotors in, in the middle grids. We'll go from there. Hopefully I didn't drop anything. That's not a lot. Drop that off too. And ow. Inventory full. So it's interior plates. Alright, let me look. Oh, it never got built. Okay. So we need to take the rest of this off. And weld this. 
somehow this did not get finished. Uh, we should have enough of everything to actually build it. <coughs> so we'll grab some seal tube, construction components, and interior plate. And we'll be fixing that right up. Great, now that's connected. We'll start using that. One thing fixed. Now we're not putting anything in it yet, but we can. Yep. Energy low. So this is great. We now got massive amount of storage needs fixed which means that we are good for the mining in the meantime let's get these So some thoughts. We're gonna color code things. Uh, red for industrial, yellow for construction, uh, blue for command. So, so this area will be themed yellow and red. Uh, so red for the mining, yellow for the construction. So that's what this is. This is the industrial area. Um, this, my goal is to have all this moved elsewhere. Um, white will be medical. So what I'm thinking is, is what we'll do is we'll do something like that on the floors to lead to the different areas. It's my idea. Maybe the walls? I'm not sure. Because you can't really do like the striping. But that's my idea anyway. So let's say, oh hey, I need to get to command and then you'll follow the blue um probably gonna have a central hub which is probably gonna be here and that's where everything will lead to in fact yes let's do that okay central hub will at least be here And that's all this is, is that it will lead to different places. Um, yeah, I guess we'll work on that. Uh, we do need it. The airlock will be over here. But we'll need one over here as well. So maybe this could be the airlock, maybe? I don't know. Thoughts. Very much thinking. In the meantime, I don't need these. We'll definitely think about the layout more when we get there.
And let's see here. You know what I'm going to do? We're going to nab this. Very curious. I turned around. Down we go. Ah, nice. Okay, so we got iron there. Ice down there. There was another... There's uranium in here somewhere too, I believe, but we don't need that yet. What we need is this. Almost good to go. Just a little bit more. Uh, we're just for testing purposes. We're going to see if it's going to do inventory full. But I'm not going to waste that on fire. We're going to try that with stone. not collecting anymore so I think it's it's done it doesn't tell me when we're full okay we're gonna turn that off turn that off we're gonna head back around And connect it. That should help us out a lot. Well, I think we had a pretty successful session. We've worked on our control tower a bit. We started working on the 
basically out what this um, is going to look like. Uh, some minor modifications to this by adding a light to it. And I think the second and third voyages of it really successful. Well, this has been the Nerdy Quail, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Please be sure to check out my Twitch channel. I don't do a lot of streaming, but I do do it occasionally. And be sure to check me out. Also, the Nerdy Quail. And, of course, make sure to check me out on Facebook. The Nerdy Quail is there as well. I have been debating whether or not to start a little uh, Discord channel. So if anyone would be interested in that, please let me know and comment in the comments. So take care and have a good one.